With just a few simple tweaks, you can transform Dryo into a tool that feels like it's made just for you. You're one of a kind, why shouldn't your workspaces be? I'm Eric, and in this video, we're diving into Dryo customization, from crafting your own shapes and organizing libraries to tailoring your space for ultimate efficiency. By the end of this video, your diagrams won't just look better, they'll be built to fit your workflow perfectly. Let's get started. Fun fact, I shoot these videos at my house. This space is customized to fit my needs as a content creator. And this is what I wanna do for you in your dry your space, to have it customized to fit your needs. So I think a great place to start is going to be dry your personalization. Board editor or diagram editor, the choice is yours. If you're working in the board editor, you have the flexibility to move and minimize the toolbar. With both editors, you can adjust the canvas and choose whether or not you wanna show the grid. This is perfect for when you need more space to focus on large diagrams or complex layouts. Dark mode is a feature that applies across both the regular editor and the board editor. It's ideal for reducing eye strain during long work sessions, but I mean, come on, let's be honest. Switching to dark mode is quick and easy, so you can toggle between light and dark based on what's best for your eyes and environment. If you find yourself using the same shapes or elements across multiple diagrams, the scratch pad is going to be your best friend. It's like having a personal toolkit where you can store frequently used elements, ready to go whenever you need them. This is perfect for company logos, recurrent icons, or even shapes you're consistently using. Using the scratch pad is super simple. All you have to do is drag and drop the element directly from your diagram into the scratch pad. You can add shapes, images, or icons. This saves you from having to search through your library over and over again. Just place your favorite elements in the scratch pad and then you'll have instant access to them in any future project. But like any workspace, the scratch pad can get cluttered quickly. Make sure you tie it up regularly by removing anything you no longer use. Click the pencil icon in the scratch pad to edit. Click on the cross icon in the top right corner of the shape to remove it and then hit save. Keeping things organized will ensure you're always working efficiently and without distractions. Let's talk libraries because no one likes digging through menus to find the right shape. Efficiently managing your libraries is vital to keeping your workspace clean and focused, especially when working on complex projects. For example, if you're working on designing a software architecture diagram, you probably don't need an entire library of flowchart symbols. You can keep your workspace streamlined and avoid distractions by enabling and disabling libraries based on your project needs. This helps you find exactly what you need when you need it without getting lost in the sea of irrelevant shapes. Now let's take this a step further. Not only can you manage default libraries, but you can also create custom ones. Think about how useful it will be to have a dedicated library for your team's specific shapes, logos, and connectors all in one place. To build your own custom library, go to File, then New Library, give it a name, and add your shapes. You can drag directly from your canvas or import them from your computer. And if you're working with a team, this becomes even more powerful. You can share your custom library libraries with your team, keeping everything aligned for smoother collaboration and consistent diagramming. Custom shapes in Drawio allow you to design and add visuals beyond the default options. Whether you need a specific icon, a custom device shape for a network diagram, or employee headshot images for a org chart. Adding your own shapes allow you to tailor your diagrams to match your exact needs. Customizing shapes, you ensure that your visuals are unique and more aligned with your workflow and the specifics of your project. There are two ways to add custom shapes in Drawio. First, you can create your own shape right inside of Drawio. Head over to the Arrange tab and then to Insert and then Shape, and you can add the basic geometric shapes from scratch. For example, rectangles, ellipses, and so on. It's a simple way to add exactly what you need to your diagram. Now, if you're looking for something a little more advanced, like a fully customized, highly detailed shape, you can dive into the shape editor using XML. It's a bit more complex. So for more information on editing XML in your diagram, check out the link in the description below. The second way you can add shapes is by importing them. You can easily drag and drop shapes from your computer into your library for quick. It's perfect for using logos, icons, and any other elements that you frequently use. All right, so there you have it. Some things that you can use to truly make Drawio your own. We've covered creating custom shapes, organizing your libraries, using a scratch pad for quick access, and personalizing your workspace to fit your style. These small tweaks can make a huge difference in how you work inside of Drawio, helping you to streamline your workflow, boost productivity, and diagram the way you want. Now, 
it's your turn. Let us know in the comment section some things you use to improve your workflow. We would love to hear from you, your tips, your customization. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more Drawyo tips and tutorials. And if you haven't already, make sure you try Drawyo for free for 30 days. Just head over to the Alassian Marketplace to get started. Until next time, stay connected.